Hey guys, it's Kim here with Fairly Fiber Fun. Thanks for joining me on this Hocus Pocus inspired batty bat carding. Um, it is lovely, beautiful October and Halloween spooky time is just around the corner. And I am way behind on my plans for the YouTube channel for this month. So I do apologize, but I did put out the short version of this video, I think a week ago, right after I filmed it. And now I'm finally getting around to putting out the full length video, which is barely sped up. Um, so you can see in more detail what I'm doing and hear the explanation because there wasn't one in the shorter version. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos as they come out. And of course, leave your comments, questions, and suggestions down in the comment section below. I love to read and respond to those all the time. Y'all are, are just awesome and I love this community so, so much. The fibers that I'm using today, um, I only dyed the wool. The rest was already dyed when I purchased it and I did purchase through uh, Wafa Vendors. That's W-A-F-A to stands for Wool and Fiber Arts. You can find the community on Facebook. There is a the public Facebook page, Wool and Fiber Arts page. It is um, for the live, uh, the live sales. Um, the festival runs Saturday and Sunday, October 29th and 30th. Um, and there's lots of amazing vendors there. I hope you check it out. Also, um, every vendor will have the video playing on their business page. So mine will be on the Fairly Fiber Fun business page. That is all linked down in the show notes below. Um, and the community itself, there is the Wool and Fiber Arts community group, uh, which you are welcome to join at any time and watch live demos and such throughout the month. Every month. Anyways. The fibers that I am using are long wool, which is, oh goodness, I think Lincoln long wool, not sure, it might be Teeswater, it might be something else. I don't remember, I forgot to write it down, it was labeled on the bag and I just, I forgot to make a note of it. Um, so I'm giving you my add-ins first, the long wool, curly locks, and then we have silk cloud, uh, which is really short stapled little bits of silk super soft and I love it um, and recycled sorry silk that is orange and it is I was gonna say it was the only orange but I actually have some orange Corydell that I put in here as well the wool um, and then we have bamboo and that is bright to green and then we have um, purple Angelina so the wool is Corydell with a little bit of Cheviot. It's mostly Corydale because that's what I have the most of in my stash. So that's what I dyed up. Um, I really enjoyed dyeing these colors and when they came out I was like, ooh, this is perfect Hocus Pocus colors. Um, and I, I knew before I dyed them that I was going to do blending on the drum carter. So I ended up with a few different colors. That is all Corydale come to think of it. There's no Cheviot in this. Oh, that's funny because I did dye some Corydale purple. I forgot that. The bluey purple I thought was Cheviot. It's Corydale. Okay, anyways, or a different wool. It might be a different wool that I don't have the name for. Whichever. It's wool. There's no alpaca. There's no rabbit fur. There's no anything else. Um, so it's just wool and the add-ins, which are silk and bamboo and Angelina. And more wool. Okay, that works. My, my brain is tied up in knots now. Anyway, what I just put on was the silk cloud, little very short stapled silk, and now the bright green is bamboo. I really like how the bamboo um, has a little bit of shimmer to it. I used to use silk all the time, long stapled silk, and uh, that has become so expensive that I'm having trouble sourcing it, so I decided to switch to bamboo for a while and see how that goes. So I did source the bamboo and the silk from and the long wool locks from Wafa Vendors. And if I can remember their names, I will um, 
I will list them down in the show notes below so you can check out their stores if you want to. Um, since I don't feel like looking all that up at the moment while I'm recording the voiceover, um, it will all go down in the show notes below. The focus of this bat is to create a fun textured art bat that has uh, colors, three distinct colors that are layered and uh, have depth and character and passion in them instead of just being one boring color they are a more semi-solid and then we have the physical texture of the silk and the angelina and the um there i'm actually putting the angelina inside the wool i'm sandwiching it later i end up doing the three different colors all at the same time with the Angelina um, and that it works either way um, just a matter of how big your hand is I guess can you guide all of those at once um, my drum carter is average size and so my my hand can guide it fairly well I found I didn't have to do each color separately so um, we end up with a distinctive but layered and tonal and full of depth purple the same with the green and again with the more red color which is a purple red and orange actually all thrown in together and I love how it turned out I just these bats are amazing and awesome I wish I could spin one but they are all for you guys and they will be listed in my shop after the Waffa sale not before um, so if you're interested in spinning one of these up yourself or felting it um, either hang out in the live sale and I sell directly in the comments or check out the store afterwards um, a few days afterwards it might take me a little while to get all the listings um, added to the shop but anyways I am going to let you guys go again you will find all the links to all the places down below and I hope to see you Sunday the 30th and if not well I will see you the next time I'm here I'm gonna turn on some music now you guys enjoy have a great day and I will see you in the next one bye guys